Hey guys, me again. Wanted to share a quick video with you all about more stuff. Um, so I have put another spell into my grimoire of uh, power, great power, should I say? I added another illustration onto the top of it. I have the pentacle, and I have the Satanism sign. I'm going to add the necromancy sign as well. But I added the necromancy sign is right there. That's to my knowledge, of course. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's to my knowledge. Now, I added a nightmare spell. This is a Satanism sign as well as the uh, sign of that I showed to you before. Um. This is a Satanism sign as well, or a darker magic sign, the Black Cross. Um, this section here explains the spell. This section tells me what the spell is, what I need for the spell, and then this is the spell. Same for here. This section here tells me what the spell, what the spell is about. This section here tells me what I need for the spell. And then below that is what I have for the spell. What the spell actually is. How to say it, you know, all that stuff. How to perform it, what to do with the ingredients, and all that good jazz. So now, I have dwindling amounts of, uh, well, I have about a row left of my, uh, tubes for my cigarettes, so I'm going to have to get more cigarette tubes eventually here. Um, so I've been smoking my pipe more often than not. Um, I just started smoking it, um, literally just started smoking it, so um, today at least, so that is that. I'm sorry that my uh, wrist is in your way. I'm just trying to pack my pipe here. Alright, so, what's been going on today? Not much. I just ran into my chat room real quick, um, chatted a little bit with my uh, online friends, and, um, got off of it, took a shower, had some coffee, woke up, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I, uh, had this little canister here, this little, uh, put those there for now, I have this little jar, it's really, really pretty, I like the, uh, I like this part here. It's all around, and it's really, really pretty. It's supposed to be rare. I don't know if it is or if it isn't. It's supposed to be expensive. I don't know if it is or if it isn't. I just know that um, I got it from one of my old, one of my parents' old landlords when I lived with my parents in I want to say Warner, Warner in New Hampshire. Now that's in the USA, if some of you aren't in the USA, born in New Hampshire in the USA. Now, what I want to share with you all as well is that um, I got some more Mountain Dew when I went shopping, so I will be drinking Mountain Dew again. I uh, had a bottle yesterday, I'm going to have a can today, I bought a 12 pack of cans, um, so I'm going to be getting that, um, let's see, um, I hope to be getting a check from Welfare today, if not tomorrow, um, so I'll be able to have cash, 
on me, so I'll be able to go into a particular store that I want to go into and check out, um, because in this store, it says, it's a cigarette smoking sort of store, you, 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 buy, you buy lots of smoking material there, so you have to have an ID. So I am going to hopefully get cash because you can't use your EBD. I can't use my EBD card to get tobacco or smoking devices or anything like that. It has to be food. So um, hopefully I'll be able. Hopefully I will be able to get cash. There we go. To uh, get uh, so that I'll be able to get tobacco. I'll be able to get a new tip for my pipe and I will be able to uh, get all that good stuff for my uh, smoking needs. I also would like it if I could get some cash from SSI and SSDI so I'll be able to get a new pipe because I'd like to get a new pipe. That'd be really cool. Not that two pipes isn't my goal is to have a uh, at least 20 pipes because it would be nice to be because when I look at other pipe videos other videos of people who use pipes they have a collection of pipes and it, that's because they they have time and money spent into this hobby but I want to be able to have a selection of what I want what I want to smoke what I want to use to smoke smoke what I choose to smoke like for example I have three tobaccos that I can choose from right now I have my Captain Black Gold I have my Captain Black Cherry I have my uh, uh, um, Sparrow pipe tobacco and then I have um, this pipe right now because of the other type of pipe is out of commission so I have one pipe to choose from and this pipe is good but it's not like as deep as say this pipe is this pipe is really good and really deep so I get a good smoke out of it um, and I want to be able to get another um, pipe that is like that because um, I, I like um, I like long pipes I don't know why I just do maybe it's because I'm in, I'm a nerd and I like Gandalf and the Shire and all that stuff but aside from that I don't know Now, I prayed to my ancestors, I prayed to Hecate today, um, <coughs> I've been thinking about giving Hecate some of my, uh, banana chips for a sacrifice, but then I said no, because bananas aren't really one of her things. So I'm going to give her an apple. I'm going to, uh, I bought three apples when I went out shopping, so I'm going to give her an apple today, I think. Put it on her altar and have that go for me. My grandparents don't like the idea of me having food up here just as a sacrifice to Hecate because they don't like the idea of having rotting food up in my room. And I understand and respect that, but they also don't understand completely my religion and everything that goes on in it. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just think that it is hard for me to explain it. It's really hard for me to explain it to them. Because my grandmother is Christian, so she has her views and she has her acceptances. She has her firewalls and all that stuff. Firewalls being what she ignores, what she doesn't ignore, what she blocks, what she doesn't block. Um, so, that's that. Um, my grandfather is neutral, so he doesn't really care. He just doesn't like the idea of me having food in my room just to sit there and be rotting. Because he doesn't like the idea of having mice come in and critters come in and eat my food and have all that stuff going on. Same with the bones. They don't like the idea of me having bones up in my room because they're like, Yeah, but mice and yeah, but creatures. And I'm like, yeah, but this is what I need to do. This is what happens. Um, I clean them. I make sure everything is clean. I make sure every, every, I make sure that everything is, um not rotting if it starts to rot I throw it away like wine if I if I give Hecate wine 
Um, uh, it stays about three days before it goes before it starts to collect mold, and then I dump it out and uh, do that. In, in my own house, if I were to have my own house, um, I wouldn't really care because it because Hecate enjoys rot. Hecate, Hecate enjoys the process of death because she is the goddess of she is the gatekeeper of death, the gatekeeper of life. She is the she is the determining factor between life and death, and so she brings the newly dead into Hades, into the underworld, and um, sometimes um, wandering spirits will stay on Earth and do all do their thing, but most people, but most spirits will go to Hecate. And then Hecate will guide them into Hades. Um, so, that's that. Um, let's see, what else to talk to you about? Wow, it's already been 11 minutes. That's crazy. Anyway, um, let's see, what else I share with you? Um. I have not changed my calendar yet. I need to change my calendar, guys. I have not changed, well, I have not changed my calendar yet. It's still in October. So I'm like, uh, fine, I'll change my calendar. I really don't want to, but I will. And I've been thinking about talking to my grandparents about not going to, um, my family Thanksgiving, but I know they're going to say, no, you have to go, but I don't know. I don't have to go. I am 19. I am able to ch make my own choices, but it, I will need to go. It, it, it is like a tradition of my family, but. When I get my own house, I probably won't be going. Because, like I said, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be a Wiccan, not, not a Wiccan, I'm going to be practicing the Wiccan and, uh, witchy holidays. Not the traditional holidays of modern day, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, Easter, all that stuff. I won't be, I won't be doing that. I'll be doing Yule, I'll be doing... Samhain, I'll be doing Nunasa, I'll be doing all those holidays rather than the traditional holidays that most people would recognize. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is that um, Jay Morgan the lady that I uh, talked to about getting a job and all that stuff. First off, her and I made a resume for myself, so I'll be able to have a resume to present to uh, people that want to hire me. But also, um, um, I. Uh, Wanted, I talked to her about making my own store in, in the future, in, in the distant future, um, making my own store, a convenience store for pagans, um, specifically for pagans, you know, selling chicken feet, selling uh, herbs, selling um, things that um, you would need as a pagan to succeed in pagan life. Um, and there's a plot of land that um, used to have a house on it. But the house was arson, in my opinion, in my skepticism, was a victim of arson. Um, so they destroyed the house because it was a complete loss. So they destroyed the house, the town had the house destroyed, and uh, there's just a plot of land there. Um, so I'm thinking of having a building, or, or I could go to the mall that they have in Newport, and it's not really a mall, it's a, more of a building that just has lots of places to put stores up in there. I'm thinking of getting one of those sections of that building and um, having that be my plot um, where I make my store. Um, and most of my things are going to come from mag um, bellsmagic.com but also um, I'd like to investigate other uh, other suppliers where I'll be able to get good suppliers and stuff like that, um, and have uh, bulk supplies sent to me. 
uh, via whatever they choose, FedEx, UPS, usually it's UPS, but FedEx possibly. Um, let's see, what else? Excuse me. Um... Let's look at the calendar and see if there's anything to look at for the future. Um, Next week, there's two things going on. There is um, a full moon on the 14th, and the night of Hecate is the 16th. I don't know what the night of Hecate is. I have to research that a little bit more. But anyway, um, and on the 29th, there's going to be a uh, new moon. So I'll be doing a new moon ritual. Um, so that's that. So I'll be doing a full moon ritual on the 14th. Um, I have to research the of Hecate. I have to write that down somewhere. Hang on. Right. So, write that down. Right hell. So, that's that. Just put that there for now. And, uh, put that there. Um, so, the night of Hecate is, to my understanding thus far, is a, the night where she is her most powerful. Um, now I don't know, um, if I'm going to have any special requests for her. Um, I might just request money again. Just because that's what I need, um, but I have no clue, um, I'm going to have to research it a little bit more, see what, see what it's all about, maybe, uh, look at a, a couple of YouTube videos where people worship her or, or do whatever on the Night of Hecate and see that, but, anywho, let's see, what else, um, do 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 I, uh, don't know. I think I'll end the video here, because I don't have lots of stuff to, uh, don't have lots of stuff to share with you right now, so if I have anything else to share with you, I'll make another blog. But this is vlog number 31. Woohoo! New blog. All that stuff. Woohoo! I reached 30 vlogs. I was super excited. I don't know why, I just was. Um, so, I might make a special blog uh, celebrating my 31st blog. Um, a, a special something video celebrating 30 blogs. Um, and uh, do all that stuff. So, until next time, I hope to see you all later. Give me comments, give me likes, give me subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I will give you witchcraft and wizardry videos. I will give you. Uh, I'm going to start doing MTG, um, and, um, Magic the Gathering, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Pokemon videos, um, <coughs> eventually, um, I don't exactly know when I'm going to do that, I have to go through my channel, I have to put all my vlogs into one thing, and I have to put all my wishy vlogs into one thing, and I have to put, put stuff into folders, um, so that my channel will be a little bit more organized, so people will be able to go through it and see what they want to see. Um, but also, um, I'm going to be starting to do more circle magic again, because circle magic some, is something that I think that people want to see. I don't know. If you guys like the idea of seeing circle magic, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, 
If you guys want to see more Magix videos, put them in the comments down below. I just want to know what you guys want to see. But, um, I am going to start doing more Magic the Gathering, more Yu-Gi-Oh, more cards. Um, possibly even going through some of my D&D &D characters, or Pathfinder characters, actually, is what they're called. The Pathfinder characters. And, uh, explain why I did things, explain what I did, um, to people that might not know what it is. People might not know what Pathfinder is. And I'll explain that briefly here. In that, Pathfinder is a role-playing game where in a game where you make a character on a piece of paper you you have lots of little uh, categories and um, traits really you're building a person so this person can do this this person can do that this is the weapons that this person uses this is the way that this person fights um, and special abilities that the person has this character has, um, I can throw a bottle and it, I can throw a bottle of poison and then it'll make a fog of poison and then the enemies will take damage and my opponents will get this boost or whatever, you know, I don't know. Just in the, just, and, and I don't even know if that's an actual thing in Pathfinder, I just know that that's what it is. Um, I know that, um, if you are playing a, um, Bard. A bard. Now, bard is a person that plays music. It's like, um, it's like when the British were invading, or were trying to fight the Americans in the Revolutionary War. You know, they would have a band with the flutes and drums and all that. And the flutes and drums were made to, uh, boost the, uh, British, um, the British and the American, are made to boost the British um, troops, and the Americans did the same thing, it was made to boost their, their, uh, I'm not sure what to say, I'm not sure what I would call it, um, I guess just boost them, make them feel more energized, um, ready for the war, the, the battle that's about to occur, um, and in Pathfinder, there's magical properties behind a bard's um, mat, uh, behind a bard's music, where it gives certain um, boosts to um, a to the bard's um, enemies, uh, uh, not enemies, to their um, allies, and then gives a downgrading effect to the opponents um, in this magical property. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so, until next time, I hope to see you all later. Um, I, um, hope you give me comments and stuff like that. Give me likes, give me subscriptions, and until next time, I hope to see you all later, guys. Bye.